First is Marvel, second is Star Wars, and then third is the James Bond film franchise with 27 films. And we're here to take a look at the Bond coins, and particularly Bond coin number two, featuring Wet Nelly, the Lotus Esprit. So pay attention, 007. Earlier this year, just before COVID was taking hold, the Royal Mint produced the first of a series of three Bond coins. The first one came out in, I think, was March, and the second one was due to follow, but it's been delayed and only just came out a few days ago, featuring Wet Nelly and the 07 of 007. The third one uh, will be out sometime in a month's time, features the Tux with Shaken Not Stirred. In addition to the base three coins, there was a special edition featuring the 007 logo and the Aston Martin DB5, and that was made in silver and gold, and there are quite a few one kilo and even larger coins around um, built for special wealthy customers. The gold coins in particular, the one ounce uh, gold proof and the two ounce uh, gold proof, which has an enhanced finish, have been doing very, very well indeed on the uh, on the secondary market. Uh, the one ounce coin has been selling at around £5,000. The two ounce coin last sold for £13,000 at the coin cabinet auction. So there is a lot of interest in this coin amongst collectors of coins and also uh, those really interested in memorabilia for the Bond franchise and there are a lot of those kind of uh, collectors as well. So let's take a quick tour, a quick look at the gold proof coin. The one ounce gold proof coins have got a regular finish and the two ounce gold proof has what's called an enhanced finish where you can see in the 007 um, is micro engraving with all the names of the movies and mintages around 350 coins for the one ounce, 250 coins for the two ounce. Um, either version, very attractive coin. And uh, you know, some people thought these wouldn't do well because you needed three to spell out the special pattern. And they thought maybe the special edition with the Aston Martin would do well. But the market says otherwise, and there is a ton of interest in the Bond 3 ounce coins at recent auctions. So the first one is Bond James Bond, which has the O of 007 and the Aston Martin iconic DB5 car. And uh, that was very, very popular, really popular. Um, uh, most people I know who collect modern British coins bought this coin, uh, quite a lot of interest, uh, and that remains so, um, certainly, while the series is progressing. We'll see what happens in the market afterwards. But um, altogether, uh, a pretty special coin. The one ounce coin has proved to be, I think, in a way, the sweet spot. It's the right price, even though it's a premium coin, in order to buy one of these one ounce coins, certainly at mint price. Um, I think there's more of an interest in the one ounce coin than the quarter ounce coin, Unusually, perhaps, but because the mintage is so much more for the quarter ounce coin and uh, the 350 mintage on this is, is great. If you can't run to the gold coins, there are silver versions of these coins ranging from half an ounce up to two ounces. So it's one of those series where there really is something for everybody. Um, you know, and you can, you, can, you can find these different finishes. The two ounce silver has the enhanced finished. The one ounce silver has the regular finish, uh, so there's something for everybody. And the two ounce silver has been doing very well in the secondary market as well. And with loads of great new coins coming out in September, October, there's never been a better time to buy from the Coin Connection. Code Barry for 2% off in 
September. If you were a kid in the 70s, the Aston Martin DB5 was something that crusty old men in dinner jackets wore. But the car that was really the one that was trendy and modern and fabulous was the Lotus Esprit, uh, which was a fabulous, fabulous car. And that was the one used as the basis for Wet Nelly. So let's have a quick look at the latest coin from the Raw Mint in the Bond three coin set. So uh, lucky to have got this coin delivered pretty quickly so I can show it to you. The first one was called uh, Bond James Bond. The next one is Pay Attention 007. Um, and this one is number two of the three coin set. Uh, you could have ordered this in a series link, with a series link, like on your uh, your TV, and you can just say, send me everyone as it comes out. Uh, and this was one that was ordered uh, from a series link, and as a consequence, was delivered pretty quickly, which is useful to show you guys the little brochure that comes with it. And, uh, you know, it's all done in a, a pretty nice way, focusing on Bond generally, and then... Um, the, the scenes with Wet Nelly that turns into a boat underwater. Um, fabulous coin. And if you want one of these coins, they are still for sale. There's still a few for sale of these quarter ounce coins on the Raw Mint website. They're £590, uh, fairly high premium for quarter ounce of gold, but um, nevertheless a really nice coin that is bound to sell out sometime pretty soon. The one ounce gold and the two ounce gold uh, have sold out uh, a while back. They're not available anymore. Uh, I believe the two ounce silver is still uh, available on the Royal Mint website. They produced over 2,000 of the silver and I think 1,000 of the quarter ounce one. So uh, I think the mintages were sufficiently high so that the coins will last a few days before they sell out, as undoubtedly they will do. So, uh, really nice coin, the O of 07, very iconic, and that uh, Lotus Esprit is probably just as iconic as the DB5, um, and uh, certainly was a, a coin that every young schoolboy lusted after in the 70s. So, uh, yes, money penny, pay attention, 007. And the next one in the series will be out in around about a month's time, I'm led to believe, although don't quote me on it. And that will be the one with the tux and the uh, shaken, not stirred uh, moniker. So presented here in a very nice shiny black box, uh, something the Raw Mint do very well. And uh, that one looked to be in pretty good condition, probably a little bit better than average. You saw those uh, little dots on the uh, on the fields, those are actually bubbles uh, from the car going down, as opposed to um, you know bits of dirt. Although you need to look twice to work it all out. Here's a quick flash of the silver version. So uh, this one is the silver enhanced two ounce coin, and this one has got the uh, the micro writing. So you can see here on the uh, 07 of 007, you've got the name of every. James Bond film, all those 27 films uh, spelt out in micro engraving, which is pretty cool. Nice big chunky coin. And uh, I think at auction, the first one of these graded at 70 fetched over a thousand pounds. And these are around about 230 pounds to buy from the mint. If you're over in the States and you want to order three or four of these coins while they're about, you can have them sent over to America and you don't have to pay the VAT, which means you can deduct 20%, uh, I think £12.50 postage, minus 20% on the cost of these coins. And that represents, I think, a pretty good price for one of these coins. So it's something that you might want to think about if you're over outside the UK or outside of Europe and uh, you want to buy British coins from the Royal Mint. Gold doesn't have any VAT on it. Silver coins and platinum coins have 20% VAT. And uh, if you buy them for export, they will deduct the VAT 
uh, when you place the order. So I hope you enjoyed that little foray, that little delve into James Bond. Uh, I enjoyed making the video, and uh, if you like the video, please click on like. I need likes, it shows me that I'm loved. And uh, if you want to be notified, then click on the little notify bell, and uh, the system will tell you when there's another Numistaka video to watch. Thanks very much, guys.